Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a little chit chat get ready with me type thing video I guess. Um, I just popped out of the shower, hence why my hair is still in a t-shirt. I don't use towels on my hair because it is super bad for the hair. And my hair is really fragile because it's kind of like wavy and it's also just been colored a lot through the years. And I just, I just want to be nice to it for once. <laughs> so I stopped using a towel on my hair like a year ago probably. And it's, it's been, my hair is getting softer and softer by the minute, I'm telling you. Don't use towels in your hair. I'm gonna use a t-shirt. Anyway, that's why I have a t-shirt on my hair. But I wanted to show you guys what I do when I get ready. It's not for the like average weekday that I do this, but this is usually what I do when I'm going out or something like that. Because I'm not much into makeup, so I don't really use makeup through the regular weekdays, whatever. But when I go out, this is what I do. I'm gonna show you. So start with my hair because you know. It is gonna get dry and then it's not gonna look good and and all that. So what I start with is the way to grow leave-in conditioner thingy. And I literally love this product. I'm not sponsored or anything like that, but I've been using this for like two years and I always spray my hair with it when it's wet, uh, when I get out of the showers or anything. And I love it. Definitely recommend. And then I like to use just a comb before I use a brush because it's just better for the hair. And then I kind of just brush it all back so that it's not in the way of my face. I got the mirror right there so that's why I'm probably going to be looking over there quite a bit. Um, and then I kind of just let it sit in and let it kind of air dry for a little bit But I use it on my face because my face is super incredibly dry and it get like gets like dry spots and stuff And I use this Nivea cream Some of you guys are probably gonna be rolling your eyes right now, but this works. I promise uh, Only if you have dry skin though if you have oily skin or whatever Definitely don't use it because it's just gonna make everything worse. You're probably gonna get pimples but because my skin is so dry, especially in the T area, I like to use this. To get away, to see you again. So I only put it on the T zone and also if I have some dry spots anywhere else, I put it on there as well. But I usually just put it right here and down here. That's what I like to do. Then I use the pore filler from Benefit. I really like this one. Um, I just bought the smallest version because I wanted to try it and I actually love it Yeah, I use my fingers for this stuff because I don't like the brushes I feel like it doesn't get the product into your skin as well and obviously I just make sure to have clean Hands before I do it. This I also just put on the t-zone and I don't think that there's any color in it It's just just the thing to fill your pores and have a more softer skin, I guess. I don't know, but because I have such a, a dry skin, I like to do that as a base because then I feel like the CC cream that I use just holds on better. It doesn't get as like parted, I guess. It, it kind of has a weird texture if I don't put that on, but I use a CC cream from L'Oreal because uh, my skin is kind of like has a pink undertone, I guess. But for this, I do use a brush because, well, I don't really know. I just do. <laughs> Not much to say about that one. I hope you guys like this channel. I haven't, I haven't fully decided what I'm gonna be posting most about or mostly doing, but I kind of just wanted to have my own little thing since my channel with Jackson is like, cause if we're posting pre-filmed videos, so I feel like I'm not really as active on YouTube as I'd like to be and I really love actually connecting with you guys in real time So this channel is definitely gonna be in real time more than the other one, but but yeah And also the reason why I love using this CC cream is because it still leaves out the natural different tones in your skin Because I don't really like a full coverage face where I feel like I look like a Barbie I just don't I don't like that look. It's just not for me. Maybe it works for you, but 
Um, that's why I use this one because it just takes away the like red spots that I have and it kind of protects the skin and it has like sunscreen and all that in it. Not that I need that in Iceland, but you know what I mean? You get the point. Then I use the Hula Bronzing Powder. You guys have probably all heard of it because it's really popular and that's because it's really good. Um, I used to have the big one because this is just the travel size, which I really like because I travel so much and I don't really want it to take that much space. So I'm probably going to get that one again. But this is actually the second one that I have because I've been using it forever and I really love it. And then I'm just using a normal whatever brush. And then I blend it in with a bigger, fluffier brush. Um, I really want to know if you guys could comment down below where you're from. I really want to know Because I feel like on me and Jackson's channel There's a lot of people from all over the world and I feel like I don't know I feel like all of you guys are from there and I just want to see if it's just from America or if it's from somewhere else as well Next thing I do is just my eyebrow eyebrows. I like to use the one from benefit. It has this one from benefit it's number two i think i used to have the one number three but i felt like it was too dark for me yeah it's number two that took a while um and it has on this side it has like the the thing and then on this side it has like a brush and i really like it because you can brush the brows before well you probably know it's kind of like the anastasia one but it's probably not as expensive i don't really know i just bought this one and i love it so I'm gonna keep using it. I really like just keeping them really natural. I mean, I feel like they are pretty natural. Actually, I um I had a picture the other day. Maybe I'll insert it right here of me when I it was like taking like four years ago. No, 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 no. It was probably taking like eight years ago. And I had no eyebrows because I hadn't started coloring them yet. And it is so weird. And I showed it to Jackson. He was like, whoa, you're not kidding when you say that you actually have no eyebrows naturally. But no, I don't. I have absolutely none eyebrows. None of that. None. Then I do this little guy. And then I don't really put mascara or anything on because I kind of like just my not my eye. I kind of just like my natural white-ish, really blonde lashes. Um, I don't know. I just it's just natural, but still they're there because I think they're kind of they're kind of long, but they're still so white that you can't really see them. That didn't make any sense. I I just like them like this. I'm gonna show you. And they see him. <laughs> Hopefully you did. Maybe you did it. But yeah, that's how I look. That's how I like to have them. Also because my eyebrows are so fragile. No, my eyebrows. My eyelashes are so fragile that if I put mascara on them, they just go down again. They don't like. They can't hold themselves up. But that's pretty much it for my face. I also use a lip balm. This one, I think you can just get it at Target. I bought this one in America. They actually don't sell it here, but. I use that one, but that's just because I have such dry lips all the time, like my dry face. I'm just, yeah. Um, but that's it for my face. And con to continue with my hair, it has dried down or dried dried off a little bit right now. So I put this, I've actually had this for a long time. I think I bought it like four years ago and I'm not sure if you can see, but yeah, you can probably see. It's like, it's still almost full. I don't use this all the time. I just use this if I feel like my hair needs a little extra like hydration, I guess, because this is to hydrate the hair. And I just put it in like this. And it's just for, I think it has, um, it's for like dry hair and hair that needs more hydration and more um, softness, I guess. And like repairness or whatever. I don't know. I don't really know. But I put that in there. And then what I usually do for more like, um, more, cause now it doesn't have much volume. So I do this and I do this, which I feel like adds more volume to the hair and also just keeps it, I don't know, it kind of dries faster this way. I don't know, I've just been doing this forever, but maybe it's just me that thinks this is doing something, but it actually isn't. But I really think that it helps my curls <laughs> come to life. I guess, I don't know. And then I have this coconut milk 
that I really love as well. I just put like one pump. I know I also just put one pump from this. I think that's plenty. And I think that's also why I've had it for such a long time. But this honestly makes my hair so freaking soft and it makes it so much more or it makes it so much easier to manage because my hair is kind of hard to handle, I guess. It's a lot. It is a lot. And it also smells so good. It smells like coconut. Hmm, I feel like I'm in the Bahamas, but I'm seeing cold Iceland. Okay, Iceland is great too. I haven't even been to the Bahamas ever. But that is pretty much it for today's video. My hair still doesn't hasn't dried fully, but um, I feel like the volume in it comes to life more when it's completely dried. But I don't have much more time, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pull up today's shout out for you guys. Today's shout out is Christel Christellen One, I believe. Check out her on Instagram. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.